G'day. Today we're going to be swapping a distributor on a Subaru Series 2 EA82 Turbo. It's a simple job. I'm going to walk you through it. So let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is just to um, take the distributor cap off. You can leave the cables on there. They're stubborn, they're at 7mm head. Just crack them. Okay, so once you've undone them, just swing this cap up. And put it out of the way down there. Down there, like that. Now we just need to take note of where the rotor is pointing. There's no need to turn the engine around to top dead center or anything like that. So we just mark it. It's pointing here. Just put a dot down on inside of the distributor that will show us where to line up the new one and now we just take the distributor out so it's two 10mm headed bolts one's around the side here Once you've got them out, we just unplug the connector on the distributor. And just lift him out. Like that. So now it's just a matter of putting our new distributor in. Here goes the new one. And what I've done is I've put some grease on the gear, put some grease on the spigot so that when it first turns it it's not dry. A bit of grease around the o-ring and it's ready to go in. Now remember we marked the old distributor first, we put a mark on it, so it'll match where that mark was on this new one, and that'll help us phase the rotor properly. Good enough to start so we don't have to um, turn the engine at all. So number one. So we'll be able to just start it up and then um, set the timing. So remember when you push distributors in, they're on a tapered gear, so as you push them in the rotor's going to move, so you need to allow for that. As you push them in. There we go. And that's it, that's pretty much in the right spot. You can see it there. Some bolts in. We're not going to tighten them right up yet because we're going to have to adjust it in a minute. Like 
that. Now we can set the cap back on. Okay, we won't have to take the cap off again, so we'll screw it down properly. And obviously it's only plastic, so don't go overboard with it. I'll get a distributor wiring back up. And that's it. Distributor's in there. So now it's just a matter of uh, starting the car, warming it up to operating temperature, and then setting the base ignition timing. Now if you want to see how to do that, you can check my other video. The link's in the comments. Cool. Thanks, guys.